Yo. I finally did it. What's up, chat? Come on. Uh, it's not exactly morning. It's actually quite late. Say if I was aiming for morning, I'd be quite tardy. Good morning. Petey boys, there are multiple of us? I hope to god not, I can't even handle myself some days. Yo, what's up chat? Bread guy, that's me! That is me! Hello chat, how are you all doing? Hopefully well. I went to the grocery store today, because I woke up this morning, and I was like, fuck it. I'm not gonna let what happened to the air fryer be the same story as the bread maker. And I decided that I'm not going to let that happen. So I went to, uh, dude, have y'all gone to, uh, I, I don't know if this is outside of, uh, Washington or if it's just a Washington exclusive thing. Y'all been to natural grocers before? I've gone there a couple times before, but usually only for one-off stuff. But I was looking up what grocers around my area had a bunch of ingredients that I needed for baking and natural grocers had like everything. Dude, what a phenomenal place. I felt like I was in a happy place in there. It was nice. They got, like, any kind of baking supplies you could really ever need. They had ingredients for anything. It would, They got, like, nutrients and uh, supplements and stuff and all this vegan shit. <laughs> so good. I did. Well, yeah, I got it, like, a week ago, and I finally uh, decided to crack it out. I got some uh, I got some sourdough going in there right now. At least what I hope is going to be sourdough when the timer's done. <laughs> I put it in with the anticipation that it's going to turn out as sourdough, but that's up for time to tell whether that'll be the case or not. <laughs> I, I fucking hope so. Played some airsoft, got some food, now it's home to play games and watch you. Yo, airsoft thing. I had, and I miss airsoft thing. I airsofted in like fifth, sixth grade. So not really for a very long time, but I had a few. I think I had a. What were the. I think I had an M304. I think that's the name of it. It was a automatic, a semi automatic automatic. An M304, I think. I had a. At an op. It was like this really cool sniper that I never really got to use in actual like airsofting. I just only ever brought it to uh <laughs> I only ever brought it to like the shooting range just to mess around with targets. Cause you know, you go to a shooting range, they got the whole like area for actual you know uh, uh firearms, and then they got that little area down in the corner for the airsoft rifles. My mom taking me there with my friend when we were in fifth grade, holding our fucking rifles with the orange tips. Like, yeah, we we fit in here. <laughs> we fit in here. Nah, I miss airsoft thing. It was fun for a little bit. I definitely got like, really, really heavy into it and enjoyed it quite a bit. I've never gone paintballing before. I think I was just surrounded by more people in my elementary school that were into airsofting than paintball. So that's why I went through with it. And then by the time that paintballing came around to me, I was like, not really interested too much. Woke up at 6 a.m. to get a workout in before the toddler woke up. My goal is to do this daily to try and help my anxiety, so I've stopped my meds. Hey, hope that goes well for you. I'm a very big believer in morning workouts, even though I feel like most people aren't. I don't know. I like it because it makes me feel a little bit up and ready for the day. But some people would say it just makes you tired for the rest of the day. For me, it does the opposite. I don't know, kind of exerting your energy like that makes you feel, I don't know, just ready to take on whatever's going to present itself to you. Absolutely slap the shit out of some responsibilities for the rest of the day. Because if I'm already, I don't know, for me, if it's the end of the day, last thing I really want to do is get into the gym and just work harder than I have the rest of the, you know, the... The entirety of the day. Like, I want to go to bed. Even a workout person to help me sleep? 
What's up, Emily? Yo. Hey, Karen. How you doing? Hey, Mythic, what's going on? What do I want to do for some legit sourdough? Everything I can find here is cut with wheat or doesn't have any buckwheat in it at all. Well, <laughs> if mine turns out good, I'll... Can you ship bread? I feel like that'd be kind of difficult. What would be, like, the... Can you, like, vacuum seal bread? You probably can. Just trying to think of how you would do it without it getting stale. Finally able to eat real food after getting my wisdom teeth taken out, so eat Yo! while enjoying stream. What's the choice of food after getting off of the mashed potatoes and oatmeal diet? Freeze it in an airtight bag. You can't. It's expensive, but it's heavy though. I've shipped pumpkin bread to friends before. Ooh. Is it? Is it October yet? <laughs> is, Hmm? That sounds really good, though. Yeah, that makes very much so three months. Appreciate you. Thank you very much. Sounds like the vitamin shop on the East Coast could be wrong. I think it's similar. I've seen vitamin shop before. I don't think I've ever gone in one. Um, but I think it's kind of similar to that, yeah. It's like a smaller shop, but it's got a lot of oddities that you probably need if you're doing baking or anything like that, but... Yeah. How you doing today? I'm gonna find out in two hours. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna find out in two hours. Listen, here's the deal, okay? I have I got my book. All right, I got my fucking Bible. You can start a religion on this shit. I'm sure people during lockdown probably did start a religion on bread making. I'm assuming that's where most people did it. You can start a religion from all the information that's in this shit. I followed it to a T for sourdough. They had the steps, I read everything, even the preamble about, like, don't have it plugged in when it's not on use, make sure not to touch it if it's hot, you dumb fuck. Like, I read everything. So if it doesn't turn out good, it's probably still a skill issue. But, okay, one thing that's kind of funny, and I, I don't know how much this is actually gonna affect it, so one of the things that they say is, like, pretty important with these types of machines is to make sure that you have a really rigid surface to put it on. And I was like, well, yeah, I'm not, I, I don't live on a fucking boat. Like, okay, any surface I put it on is probably going to be rigid. Well, when I was looking for a place for the bread maker, <laughs> I have a, uh, basically a prep table. If you guys think of just, I don't know if you've ever been in the back of a, uh, like industrial kitchen at a restaurant, or you've seen a fucking movie of people working on like kitchen lines or whatever. You know the steel, stainless steel counters, prep tables that they use? That's got like the top, and then it has the bit at the bottom too. It's got a shelf at the bottom where you put all the pots and pans and all that bullshit. Yeah, I have one of those and it fucking rocks. I bought it for $300 when I first moved in. It was the best money I've ever spent in my life. So much counter space. Holy! Because the kitchen that I have is a, uh, it's a galley kitchen. And at the end of it, underneath the windows, the previous owners just had a little, like, breakfast nook. And as nice as that was, we had, like, no counter space otherwise. We really only had, like, this much counter space to the left of the sink, and then, like, this much counter space to the right of where the stovetop was. So I threw that in there. So good. But anyway, when I was trying to find a spot for the bread maker, I figured, wait, genius idea. Instead of having, like, food and stuff under on the, the lower shelf, like I did before, what if I move the food somewhere else, and I did, and I put, like, some appliances down there. So I moved the bread maker, the air fryer, and my microwave down there. So the only things on top is a uh, smoothie mixer, a uh, an air... Not, not an air fryer, a uh, pressure cooker, and that's it, pretty much. So I just have this giant space of just counter space. It's fantastic, right? Like, I could sleep on that thing almost. But anyway, so I put the bread maker on the lower shelf, and I'm thinking, yeah, this is fine. Uh, it's got plenty of room. This is fine. There's a lot of space in between, you know, like the top of it and the lower of the top shelf. I can, you know, I can open the thing. It works down there. <laughs> so I put everything in, and I, I close the bread maker, and I change all the settings, and I press start. And within a minute, it starts, like, you know, doing the thing with a whisk or whatever, not the whisk, but, like, with a paddle in it. <laughs> and it's shaking the whole fucking table. 
because <laughs> the 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 lower shelf isn't as thick as the top shelf. It's not as rigid as it. It's like kind of has a little bit of flexibility. I didn't really think about that too much. So the second it started actually going, it was just like like the lower section. So I have no idea if a miniature earthquake occurring for three and a half hours is going to affect the outcome of the bread at all. But we'll find out. So if it goes wrong, that's the first thing I'm going to point toward. It was kind of hilarious because I just looked at it and I was like, well, you're already on. I can't pick you up and move you up. So as long as you don't fall over, we'll see what happens. I mean, it's not going to fall over. But anyway. Bread probably not, but might not be good for the bread maker. You just said two bad things. I thought you were going to say that one of those was good. Well, you say no, but I'm expecting a good thing at the end. That was just two negatives. How fucked am I? <laughs> yeah, boy, I never must have 34. Appreciate that. 34 years indeed. Appreciate you. What's up, Stu? How did, uh, how'd you do in, uh, Block Wars? I was out at Olive Garden while Block Wars was going on. I was getting ingredients for baking and at Olive Garden, like a lame ass, a lame-o, but I didn't see anything. A loud crash sound happens midstream. Dude, my bread makers made like three different successions of loud ass beeps. And I thought every single, like I sprinted up to my kitchen every single time. I thought she was breaking or like about to just go nuclear, but it was just it changing a mode. It's like, oh, okay. Thank you for announcing like a fucking fire alarm going off. Does the bread maker also cook the dough? Uh, I mean, so, okay, where are the... What are the steps? It's like different steps in the process. Where does the... Hold on. Where is... Where does it have the list of, like, everything? It'll surely be here. Oh, yeah, okay. So it... It does a preheat, and then it needs, and then it needs a second time. And then it rises, and then punches down, and then rises two, and then punches down again. And then it rises a third time, and then it bakes, and then it keeps warm. I don't exactly know what punching down is. I didn't read this far ahead, but I think this is currently what's happening. I think my bread is currently being punched down. Possibly. Yeah, it's an all-in-one. Dude, I was looking at some photos and stuff. People have been making bagels and stuff with their bread makers. Dude, I want to make some bagels. That would taste amazing. Like kneading dough? It's just letting the air out after it rises? Oh. Mother makes a sourdough and bread from scratch. She has a starter and everything. I was looking at videos of starters. I want to try my own. I want to get my own starter going. And maintain it for years. I want it to be my child. Got done better. FPS is lagging a lot this time. I don't know why. I got seventh and I played so mid. <laughs> Get seventh. <laughs> played so mid. Oh, uh, the standards we set for ourselves. Ah, that ain't bad. Are you talking about? You're talking about individual or are you talking about team placement? What did your team get? Oh, made bagels are fire. I don't know, I'm just, I'm excited. I'm like super giddy and anxious to see how it turns out. I did, uh, because it has different options or whatever. And I, it said something about like, even though it can range from, like it ranges from one pound to 2.5 pound loaves, four different options. Uh, the bigger the loaf, the better, because smaller loaves, depending on which one you go for, might not like all stand tall together. Like it might not form perfectly as you would expect with a larger one so i just went with a 2.5er so whenever that pops out i mean listen you'd be out of your mind if you didn't think that i was gonna bring it down here and slice it on stream show that bitch off i wish i had a camera that i can bring up to my kitchen just to like show the bread come out of the bread maker but when that happens in two hours we're, we're all gonna see <laughs> we're, we're all gonna find out if i've made a great mistake or not 
Yo, Anonymous, there must be a tier two. Damn. I uh, appreciate that very dearly. Thank you so much for hooking Kazzy up. It was very kind of you. Thank you, thank you. Discord phone stream. I don't even have it set up. How would you... Wait, how would you... Would I have to, like, be in a call with myself and then log onto an alt account? And, like... I guess that could work. There's probably, like, other better solutions, though, but... me. Mobile stream? Just end stream to go live on mobile? Just made a lot of things from a starter. Bread bowls, breads, cinnamon rolls, pizza crust, breadsticks, chocolate chip cookies, and banana bread. You can make chocolate chip cookies with a bread starter? What part of the cookie does that help? Those things gotta be goddamn incredible. Are they, are they like pretty big cookies? Like the kind of cookies that you'd see in a bakery and they sell for like three fifty. I say that like that's the price that they would sell for all the time. I, I just remember when I was like maybe 10 years old, I went to a bakery at a town that I didn't go to very often and I got this cookie and it was three fifty. It was an oatmeal raisin and it was the biggest motherfucker that I've ever seen in my life and it was so damn tasty. I think pro now it'd probably be like $8, but it was, I, I still think about that cookie to this day. I should probably go back there one day, but that's all the way down to SoCal. I don't know if I'll go all the way there for a cookie. Apparently New York bakers don't eat bread unless it passes the knock test. That's what I've heard. What's the knock test? Is this a dick joke? It's a sin if you don't make your own pizza crust with your bread maker considering your username. This is possibly potentially true. Zucchini bread is great. I miss banana bread. Lord said banana, sadly. Damn. Zucchini bread was pitched the last time that we were talking about stuff, though. That apparently it doesn't taste like too much like zucchinis. And the zucchinis are more just for the texture, not necessarily the taste. Now, I'd argue the texture has a lot to do with taste. But I guess it's a distinction of flavor versus taste. I have a gluten intolerance. If you ferment it enough, it kills off gluten. The cookie recipe made big ones, but she split them in half. They were heaven. That sounds amazing. That actually sounds incredible. I've been wanting to make bread and have a few recipe books, but I would have to do it all by hand. Fair enough, shout. Yeah, was a, that, that was part of the reason that I wanted to start doing it, is because there were a couple of people I follow on Twitter who posted some photos of their bread babies. And, you know, they all make it by hand, and that shit just, like, oh, man, I... <sighs> I think about it. I think about what it'd be like to have uh, a bread daddy just providing homemade, handmade bread for me every day. Sorry, where, where were we? Sorry. A knock test just a way to tell if the bread is done? Nothing specific to New York. Oh. Uh, what do you do? Do you, like... Knock on the bread and ask if the if everything's home. Or do you like actually like do you like make sure it doesn't like fall into itself or whatever? For if you have Pizza Hut pizza, I want to see you eat a piece to show that you're the Pizza Hut. JTMM, you got bread in your name. You better be careful with those words before I just eat your entire username. Watch yourself. I'm way too hungry for carbs today. Here, wash your back. Zucchini bread is easy to make. Don't need a bread maker for it. And it has no yeast. It takes time to rise. Ooh, no yeast. Interesting. Knocking it to make sure the crust is hard enough. Got you. Dude, my shit better be crispy when it comes out. There's some really easy bread recipes by hand. I have a sandwich bread recipe that only takes like an hour. Not including rising, but still only a few hours. Fair enough. I think the... Was mine 3 hours and 40 minutes? I don't know if I need to let it rest after the 3.40. I'll, I'm gonna do a little bit of reading before it gets around the time, probably like an hour or so, but yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna move over to, uh, I'll play some games and shit. I gotta distract myself from thinking about it. Some bread recipes don't require heavy kneading, instead requiring stretch and folds. Makes sense. I did learn a lot today. Apparently there's like a bunch of different types of yeast, 
all different types of flour and shit. Like, it's crazy how many different variables there are for baking. And I somehow managed to find every single ingredient that I needed for not only sourdough, but rye bread. <sighs> rye bread seems a little bit more involved, not really by too much. But in terms of simplicity, it's like a few more ingredients. And there's kind of like a, I think they called it a, not a glaze, but like some other thing with it. With like egg and some other thing. What else did they, hold on. Or the, I have a bookmark. Where's the bookmark? Uh, where is it? There it is. Oh, so they call it a topping. Two tablespoons of cracked wheat, wheat, and then one egg plus one tablespoon of water beaten for an egg wash. Yeah, that one's what? Brown sugar, salt, bread flour, rye flour, vital wheat gluten, caraway seeds, and yeast active dry. Dude, I was looking at the active dry yeast because I needed that for the recipe. They had one left. I snagged that bitch after not being able to find it for like three minutes. And I'm, I'm telling you right there, I could have won the lottery in that moment and I would have felt the exact same. Which bread is it that has all the seeds in it? Uh, that's rye bread, I think, if you're talking about the caraway seeds. Unless they're, unless you're talking about like a multitude of different seeds, like a variety. How much does it cost? Like the ingredients? Like 60 bucks? But I mean, I got like fresh everything, like from scratch, because I didn't have any shit. Some of the shit that I did have was pretty old. So it wasn't too bad. It's like on the top of my head, though. I think it's around like 50, 60. Yo, hot or not, never much of six. Appreciate you. Thank you very much. Multigrain? Multigrain's a staple. I guess it's got a couple of seeds in it, to be fair. Yeah. Normally, I need to let bread rest before slicing as it dehydrates them because steam escapes, but I don't know if the cooling cycle is already included in bread maker cycle. You know what? I'm actually going to... Hold on. Let me see. What's this thing gonna have me do? Uh, when the cycle is complete, an alert will sound and the keep warm phase will automatically begin to count up to 60 minutes. To retain a crisp loaf crust, we recommend removing the bread pan at the beginning of the keep warm cycle. Press and hold the cancel button. With protective hot pads or insulated oven mitts, lift open the lid, hold the bread pan by the handle, and lift straight up. Place the bread pan on a wire rack. Be careful not to place it on tablecloth, plastic service, or other heat-sensitive service which may scorch or melt. The thing it wants me to... Does this want me to keep it in the pan for 60 minutes? No, I don't think so. No, I think the keep warm phase would, like, ruin the crispiness of it. I think. Yeah, that'd make it soggy. Yeah, I think it's telling me it doesn't want me to do that, so it makes sure- Oh, I gotta make sure that shit, like, I know when it's ending then. Okay, I need to check on it, like, an hour and a half and make sure I know the exact time I gotta go. If I don't hear that, I gotta make sure I'm there for a 100%. Oh yeah, the size of the loaf may concave or and become soggy, or the crust may become harder and darker during the keep warm phase. Yeah, that makes sense, that makes sense. And then, hold the bread pan handle to one side and turn the bread pan upside down onto a wire rack. Gently shake the bread out of the bread pan. The paddle should remain in the bread pan. I'm stuck. Okay. Do I have a wire rack? Like a big enough one? I think so. I've got a couple wire racks for my toaster oven. That'd probably work, surely. <laughs> surely that would work. Place the bread upright on the wire rack to cool for at least 20 minutes before slicing. The exception is yeast-free breads, also known as quick breads, batter breads, or cakes. 
Allow these breads to remain in the bread pan for 20 minutes on a wire rack before removing, then allow it to cool for 15 to 30 minutes before slicing. Okay, so I gotta take it out immediately and then let it cool for 20 before cutting it. Makes sense. Makes sense. Toaster oven rack should work fine. Yeah. Do you recall a bread that had a few different seeds in it, but it was years ago? Might have been from Food Lion before they all closed down now that I think about it. Food Lion. Is that a... Like a brand that distributes prepackaged goods to grocers? Or like a bakery of some kind. Ooh, I jumped too early on that one. I'm sorry. What's up, Tantrum? Yo. The supermarket? Oh. Yeah, I've never seen one of those before. What happened to the lion? Did you go out of business? What the? I didn't jump. You going for expert on everything? E. Ideally, sub four on everything. Sub four is a good challenge for me. Okay. Okay. I guess you could probably, like, maybe jump on a stair there. East Coast, Texas? Oh. Uh, that explains why I've never seen one before. <laughs> Dude, that guy stopped putting this in. I'm tired of the edgy posts. Fug. Not that bad. That's a fun one. Food line was Pog. What did it specialize in? Was it just like a generic uh, grocery store? Or did it specialize in specific things? Yeah, that was a long one. I'm surprised it didn't fall there. They added glass panes to this? Oh shit. I have bad timing on this. That's better. Are they just putting this in every single course now? <laughs> I know it's random, at least from what I've heard, the way that these are generated. But I feel like that's on literally every court. This is here? Oh my god, I'm back to the practice server. I never did like this one. But also, I don't think I ever really has made problems I'm having with it right now. That's a difficult one, damn. That's a long ass jump. There's more? Holy shit, there's a few sections on this. Damn, that thing ate up some time. Alright, sub four is still possible, Copium. Six something? Uh, I think it's f five? No, it's four. It's after the. Ugh. Fuck. I hate this run. This run sucks. I don't remember where it is. We're starting. Actually, good prices. Usually, I'd stuff the bigger change to stop carrying. Ooh. That does sound nice.
I'm actually pretty sad because the, uh, the oatmeal that I love and have eaten for like five years is no longer being carried at Safeway. Uh, they've just gotten rid of the brand entirely. So now there's one other uh, grocer in my town that carries it. And I'm worried. I'm worried. Because if that shit goes out, like, that's, that's a huge loss. Because really, it's just... I don't know. I just like getting very uh, plain oatmeal from there, just steel cut oats. That's like the best steel cut I've ever had. That doesn't add a bunch of like bullshit sugar and stuff to it. That's where I typically go through like two packages of those a month. So now I gotta go to a different grocery to find it, which is fine. But I'm worried as to why one of the biggest grocers here, the biggest grocer here, no longer carries it. And what that means for the security of my my oatmeal. Don't tell me they're getting rid of my oatmeal. I can't handle it. I'm actually gonna be really fucking sad if they're just like going out of business or just aren't gonna be carried around here. I should start ordering it off online if they do. Fuck. Damn it, man. That sucks. Check Amazon. I mean, I'm sure Amazon probably has it, but also ordering food off Amazon is one of the sketchiest things you can possibly do. There ain't no way that I'm ordering food off Amazon and not getting a package of food that expired before lockdown happened. I mean, I went to the grocery today to get the ingredients for the, the bread. There was one package that I looked up online before getting there. So, like, I knew exactly what it looked like, and I found it, but then next to it was a package that was by the same brand, same product, but it just had different packaging. And, of course, I'm sitting there like, okay, this is the exact same thing, but what if it's not? And I like grab the bag and I flip around I'm like comparing ingredients and nutritional labels and it all seems like pretty similar. So I'm like, what the hell is the difference? And then I checked the expiration and the different label had expired like two years ago. <laughs> and it was still there for some reason. It was actually two years ago. I think it was like expired last year. But I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> why, why is why is this here? I understand why nobody bought it. Well, why is this here? It did make me double check everything though. But everything else expires like mid next year, so I'm good. Fuck. I'm sucking ass at parkour tonight, man. I got carbs in my mind. That's bad inventory. It was literally the only thing that looked out of place there. Like everything else had a long ass expiry and everything else was good. It's like I checked around. I'm like, what else here is expired? But like, that was it. I don't know who put that there. How that even got there? It was an antique. Fuck. Sourdough bread. I don't know, sourdough, it's, it seemed super easy, honestly. It was like four ingredients. I don't have a starter, but it seemed really easy for a first time to go around. I mean, it's a bread maker. I think everything is relatively easy as long as you just like measure correctly. At least what we hope will be sourdough. <laughs> I sure as hell hope it will be. What mode is MCCI on? 
Uh, 119.4 or above. I think 119.4 is recommended, but I don't think it'll make too much of a difference. Ah, oh, such a bad jump. What was the... Was that a path to the left? The end of the hanging vines. Let me check. Are they gonna go to the left? Oh. I see. Well, that's cheating. I think I have to report myself now. And that person. And you for bringing that up. Dirty stinking cheaters, man. First time watching live? Yo. Are you a VOD watcher? You still post on YouTube? Not too actively, no. Those posts are getting me today. I don't know why. Some days they don't. Today they do. I've actually found the edgy post timing, like learning that, is helping me with uh, three plus ones. You just gotta jump. Damn it! You just have to jump when it uh, when the block underneath you like leaves your view, like when you pretty much ran completely past it. It's kind of cool. I might do some speedrunning tonight. I'll see how I'm feeling. I'm thinking I might want to try out placements in Season 2. Been watching a little bit. Kind of getting an itch to give it a try again. Which we'll see. <laughs> oh, okay. That makes it easy. I hate myself. This is the worst day of my life. Season one ended. Yeah, it ended four days ago? Four or five days ago? I think I ended around like 1540 low, somewhere around there, which is pretty pog. I was honestly, like, super stoked that I ended around 1500 ELO after playing for at least a decent bit. I think it's pretty good for having been away from speedrunning for a bit and only doing... I think I had about... Like, 170 rank matches?
That's better. Very good, very good. Wait. Don't do that. Time to throw. What the pag? Who's bagging? finishes on this this one there we go there we go good finish That third part at the third section on the main course just stumped me for a bit. I think that was flawless outside of uh, the alternating path mess up. It was pretty good. First try. First try. Speedrun is beyond my comprehension. No clue how you and many runners like you get so good at it. There's a lot of ways that you can practice, and just a lot of community involvement that makes practicing that much easier. All the type that goes into speedrunning is just really cool. All this to say, yeah, I don't really know either. <laughs> Shit we've done since early 2020 or like mid 2020 is kind of insane. Okay, there were much more nine months. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. But I didn't really post on YouTube anymore. Uh, we don't really have a drive to at the moment. I saw. Not really like a greater reason for it. <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> I miss my jump. Good start. What are you yelling at me for? Oh. I don't believe I got. I think they're actually my mortal enemy. I <laughs> said, wow. What do you mean by that? We got a fangirl? Oh my god, now I'm an air conditioner. Yo, can't see death. Let's be equal. They're much of 7 and 20, respectively. I appreciate the both of you. They're only in 8th place. Let's go. Oh, 
Well, why have I done that? Guys. <laughs> you dumbass. <laughs> oh my god. It's cool. Lady, y'all. The objective of to get to the other side is to get to the other side. Which a lot of people never start going to do. What the? That's just a part of the map? Holy shit. I don't know what in depth with this. What's the point of that? You can take the scenic route if you want to. Damn! Does that affect this map much? Probably not. I just ain't right. Mm. Uh, it's gotten real bad real fast. <laughs> it's been built on top of a tree. You know, it's pretty bad. Yeah, I want to try falling into lava to see if that would improve anything, but it seems like it's only uh, punished me immensely. Not recommend. Damn, not a single other GG. Alright, shit. Okay, shit. Alright, shit. Alright, shit. We tried hole in the wall or battle box. Not since the release. Stop yelling. What just happened? Oh, okay. Hole in the wall dirty, same exact maps. Did they change any of the modifiers? Or is Hole in the Wall pretty much the exact same game mode? Uh, 
unchanged, basically the same game. Mm. Oh. Tragedy. Punch me, I dare you. Survive that, hot damn. Surprise survival games is an MCC out yet? When that happens, oh man. I'm gonna be spending weeks at a time on here. I cannot wait. But, considering what kind of idea they took for Parkour Warrior, like how in-depth they went with it, you got to imagine that they're taking their time with every single game to be it more than just a very basic, you know, like, here's the game and that'd be it. What the... I suck at this game. Yeah, I'm, I'm done. I'm gonna play Persona. race. Well, so what do they have on here now? They've got Muma game. They have three Muma games and two PvP games. Not sure they'd add Ace Race before they add like another PvP game. I honestly wonder... Novelty aside, whether survival games or Meltdown would be more widely, uh, like, positively received on here. Because I feel like Meltdown is something that a lot of people would really enjoy playing. Because it would be a new experience compared to survival games, which, you know, Nasha would put its own spin on it, but it's still something that people are very familiar with already. Twenty-one months of not helping Mr. Streamer. Two what the? It's now a habit after twenty-one times. <laughs> well, if it's a habit, you know, might as well keep it. Even if it's not benefiting either of us. You know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice quasi. I appreciate that very much. Meltdown without comms, though. Yeah, partially true. Partially true. Comparing Meltdown to, like, Sky Battle, I do think comms for Meltdown are much more critical, considering it's an all-or-nothing game with your team.
Happy to provide. Happy to provide. It's fine. You don't need to say thank you. That was fast as fuck, huh? Oh, super quick. <laughs> what the? The lobby turned up today. Battle box without comms, that's fine. Yeah, but battle box isn't an all or nothing, though. I said get off my platform! <laughs> Rampage. <laughs> it blocked the door behind. What the fuck? I wasn't gonna do anything, but they put the block here. That's not cool. Oh, I believe. Uh, never mind. What are you knowing over? What happened? I imagine people when they do that, they say that in chat. No. Oh, okay, I almost finished. That's a bit of a tragedy. Three seasonal cray tokens. Damn. Can I get a. simply prevail anyways. The oh, foam finger. It's no being emo, it is so bad, makes it look so mean once his teammate having a tragedy. I mean, both can be correct. I wonder if we'll see any more crazy quest grinding, like back in closed beta. Are you talking about mirrors in general? I'm kind of just vibing. I'm not really too fussed about like hopping on and taking care of like a ton of quests. Mainly because I don't really want to do anything but play to get to the side at the moment. I like this game. <laughs> Firm handshakes. That's the homie right there. I'll have a life for hour one. Okay. I got like 50 minutes. 
about an hour. Somewhere around there. What the? I bet. Dude! Fuck! Screw! Oh, sh- Dude, what? This map is actually my kryptonite tonight. Pete. There is a whole lobby. <laughs> Peace, guy. He said an hour 30 till bread complete 36 minutes ago, so 54 minutes at the top of the hour. Matter tech, I should be paying you. <laughs> what the hell? Ain't no way you're keeping track like that. Actual homie. I'm saying we got on the bread. That's a good question. I'm gonna go check real fast. I mean, the, the bread. The, the bread is currently rising. We got an hour eight. Well, thanks. That'll do. You know, there's some real homies in this one. On this map. It's pretty cool. Alright, be honest. How many of y'all think the bread's actually gonna turn out to be decent? Because I kinda got my hopes fucking pretty high. I think it's actually gonna turn out like a solid 7 out of 10. I'm gonna be pogging my brains out. Like, if it tastes good, I will quite literally, like, in the middle of the stream, go into my kitchen and make, like, four scrambled eggs. Slice up some shit, throw it in a toaster oven. Throw it in a toaster and just made myself a brekkie. It's sourdough, yeah. And if sourdough turns out good, I'm gonna do rye toast next. And then I think... I think the next one that I'll want to try is uh, Cinnamon Swirl. I don't know if I'll put raisin or not in, but I think cinnamon swirl or cinnamon raisin would be the, the third I'll go for. I fucking love cinnamon raisin bread. Cinnamon swirl. Just gonna wait a bit. Whoa. Skirt. Skirt. <laughs> Get the chicken.
For a shower sourdough starter, you haven't used it before, and a bread maker you haven't used before. If it's edible, it's a success. Actually true though. As long as it's edible. I think it's probably gonna be huge as hell. I guess a 2.5 pound loaf. Like that's gonna be a lot of bread. That's just homemade too with no preservatives. That's just gonna go stale in like three days. I don't care. in the freezer helps oh yeah you can freeze bread yeah true 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 would it be best to freeze the bread well, probably after like two days so like a little bit before it would start going stale but not like immediately because like why would you need to do that Oh, it won't last three days. Wait, wait, wait. How many days will it last? Wait, hold on. Don't break the news to me like this. 10 years, see you in 40? What the hell? Dude, what was I doing 10 years ago? Are you a UHC, Andy? You're a UHC, Andy, aren't you? In which case, you are a hero. I was saying it'll be faster than that. I like your ambition. Yo, yeah, 7, they're mostly 29. Appreciate you. Thank you. Battle Dome? Possibly also. Longer? I think it was still during that time. I think the UHCs and the Battle Domes were... So sad. I don't want to play anymore. What the... Why is Pete not actually named Pete? Is your name serious? Because if not, what the hell? Shut up, Brandon. Shut up, Brandon. Freezing the bread immediately is apparently better because the starch will start aging very quickly and affect the texture. Oh. Really? Interesting. Five months is a funny ten years, but we move. We move. I'm upset with you. Don't look at me like that! <laughs> I'm, f I'm 
so tired. I'm so tired. Thanks for six months to 40. I appreciate that. This map needs to be removed. Where's the new maps? I want to play some new. Huh? What the? I don't trust it. New route unlocked. Yeah, Jordan Saver. Thanks for the 15 months. Appreciate you. Start watching the Pixelmon days, and I watch your VH videos, and I watch your MCCI streams. Dude, the most recent Pixelmon was so much fun. I was thinking about that a lot this morning. Just like how much fun it was to set that up and be involved. Like I was. I love that. That was a really great fucking time. Short lived, but a good time. A very good time. Met a lot of pretty cool people through that. Uh, not very good. Or even pick some on island. A couple of them. Uh, I want to play. Um. Oh. That's a long time. We play battle box. It's the queue. And the Pixelmon series like Vic and them a while ago, but yeah. Oh, I, I figured, I figured. Yeah, those are fun too. I'll go whatever y'all don't want to. Leaping and speed. Speed and harming. Okay. Uh, oh. New map, Pug. Ow, ow, ow. Why does that deal damage? Oh, my team's just insane. They're up there! They're over there! Nice. Hog. That was weird. Health bar they added? Oh, is it above players' heads?
They're weak. <laughs> Damn. Oh, this. Oh, it does look sick. Don't do this. If you see me in game, don't do that. It's weird. Bridge. Don't run away from me. It's actually weird without the uh, damage tilt being on. Slip that in. Oh, this is bad. Wait. Come on up. Or don't, I guess. Wait. <laughs> dead, dead. And so being off is way better, I promise. Just getting used to it, right? Because, like, without it, or the percentage that I have it at, it's kind of hard to tell when you're getting hit. I should turn it up, like... What do I have it at right now? 15? I'll do 22. 22 is good. I haven't tried it yet. I've not tried it yet. I was going to last night, and then I went to the kitchen. And I turn on my dishwasher, and it, uh... I'm sorry. Hmm. Don't shoot me. I wasn't ready. Oh god, the multi shot. Whoa, 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 whoa! I'm charged. Wait. I'm backing up. I'm not backing up anymore. That was scary. They're still alive! Get their ass! Oh god. I should have been charged. Killed pizza. Damn. Flip it and post it somewhere. One thing about being back to streaming MCCI is that I forgot that by streaming this, my Twitch clip section just automatically gets five times worse. I think my most viewed clip from. Last night streaming FCCI was just me reporting somebody. I was like, okay, why is this clip? <laughs> what's what's the point? What you looking at me for? What the? On your team? 
That was totally not cool. Yeah, had a damn soul save my life. Where? Found you. you reported someone? Just targeting. Typical to get to the other side shenanigans. Oh yeah, no, what I was saying, uh... So I was planning on playing TFT last night, and just before I was doing that, I was going into my kitchen to do some cleaning up on it, because I made a little bit of food. Oh yeah, because uh, last night I was reheating my uh, Chipotle bowl, which, for the record, by the way, there were a lot of uh, very helpful suggestions on the proper way to reheat a Chipotle burrito bowl. Uh, can report back throwing that shit on the stove and basically turning it into a mock-up stir-fry was phenomenal. Like, I... I so badly, next time I get a Chipotle burrito bowl, just want to throw some scrambled eggs in the mix on there, toss it back on the stove top, and just have myself a day. That shit tasted amazing. Um... Yeah, outside of that, after I was done eating and I uh, put my plate up and I was gonna like run my dishwasher, I turned on my garbage disposal and <laughs> my breaker panel tripped. I was like, what the fuck? Wait, what happened? It took me a while to find the outlet, but a, uh, a GFCI, I think that's the acronym for it, uh, outlet had tripped for me turning on the dishwasher and I don't really know why? So I had to spend like a couple hours trying to figure that out and make sure it wouldn't happen again, so... Yeah, it was fun. And I just went to bed afterwards. Because the circuit that, uh... Or the way my house is wired. My, uh... Computer... Is plugged into the same circuit that my dishwasher and... <laughs> Uh, garbage disposal are on. So, <laughs> when that tripped in the kitchen, my computer went out. I had to figure that shit out. That was not fun. That's my teammate. Guys, we're gonna draw! Guys, we're gonna draw! Put one in! My team. Is your dishwasher and trash disposal on the same circuit? Yeah. The dishwasher wasn't running, though. I think, um... Well, I, I know what caused it. My, uh... Garbage disposal just has a very, very minor leak. And I'm pretty sure a little bit of water had gotten onto the electrical line. What the hell? Why am I being, why am I being rushed? So I think it's what tripped the uh, outlet, which I'm glad that obviously it was hooked up to a uh, GFCI outlet. Oh, hello. <laughs> Some reason I didn't think you were on my team. Nice. Time for a new disposal? Yeah. I don't know how hard it is to hook up a new garbage disposal, but I'm gonna try it. So I need to go to Home Depot in the next week and get a new one. But like sooner, ideally. Probably gonna go on like Monday or something. You know, I respect the dedication. 
That dude did not peel off. Nice. We got him. We got him. Dead, dead. Do you recognize the public a lot? Like a Sora stuff? Literally not at all. No. Pushed in the corner so cruel on here? True. It was definitely so that you didn't burn your house down. Yeah, I'm pretty grateful my house didn't catch on fire, you know? That was nice. That was good. I just have to applaud the wiring in my home. <laughs> so my office has four outlets. Two of those outlets are connected to three of the outlets upstairs in the living room above me. Not the fourth one, there's three, but not the fourth one. And then also the outlet that controls my garbage disposal and my dishwasher. <laughs> That's the outlet that my computer stuff is hooked up to. But all my computer peripherals are basically hooked up to a uh, GFCI outlet anyway, so I think that's nice. Better protection than not, even though liquids aren't really too much of an issue in here. It's just, yeah, a nice precaution to have, but yeah. That was kind of terrifying. I thought I'd... I haven't had a GFCI blow just out of nowhere from what wasn't very obviously a little bit of water getting on. I had to do some more investigating, so that was kind of terrifying. Oh, holy hell. Watch out. I'm going in this. You can still see my weapon, but you can't see me. on this. Oh, I see. Oh, actually, the heels. Don't do that. Can't tell if I'm being hit or not. Can't see me. What the... Holy shit, they're all around me! <laughs> cool. I just got an ace in battle box. Cool, man. They should, they should tell me that. Street Park. Eat this. Oh, what the? Wait, you can't do that. 
Turn around! Oh, fuck. Win six rounds of battle box. Nice. The second or higher is a team in one game battle box. I think I already did that. I thought I already did that. This didn't work out maybe last time, but I'm doing it again. Seems they only count second. That can't be intended. Nah, it can't be how it is. Has the TNT actually been useful at all? I don't know, I haven't used it. Think they're delayed? They said they fixed it though. Rage. I can't tell if I'm being hit or not. Yeah, I need to up the damage shell when I'm playing PvP, I think. Uh, nah, I just need to get used to it. What the? You have to get second for it to count? Interesting. Just jump before the arrow. I don't know. Y'all asking so many gameplay questions. And all I can think about is bread. What the? Wait. You don't see me. What you do? No! <laughs> Three ads. Yes, welcome to Twitch. I have to run ads. This is normal place. Oh, my team is still alive. Wait. Go! You're my favorite contestant. Suck at everyone else. I win. Uh, can we get second? No. I'm in the court. Oh, my team is insane. I just saved my life. Block my shot. You ran through my teammate to do that? Oh heavens. Oh heavens. Close beta, I got a normal app on Celestone Sky Battle. Hope you are having a great weekend. Hey, cool. Yo, so thank you much for the eight. Appreciate you. Thank you very much. I 
think I killed someone with that apple. That's pretty cool. It's quite impressive. Oh. Thank you for clarifying. I'm gonna go scrap it. You led me to believe that you got the kill with the apple. But you didn't. I see. I've been led astray. Okay, you're literally cheating. Coming over? Oh, they're invisible. What the? Nice. Oh, this kid has regen. That's cool. first time to throw I must grief my team so we get second place tic-tac-toe oh tic-tac-no Holy shit, I can smell it from down here. Dude, no way. Holy. It's starting to smell. It's starting to smell good. I can't smell it like that much because I live in a desert and I've had a stuff nose for five years, but I, I can smell something. Oh, <laughs> I can smell something. Ooh. I should probably check to make sure it's not on fire. <laughs> probably check to make sure it's not on fire. Ah, sure, it's fine. I'm trying to like, figure out my brain, but it smells like smoke or if it smells like bread. What the fuck? Nah, it definitely smells like bread. Oh, I'm dead. Mm. 
These people came to party. And I, in fact, did not come to party. Holy hell. God damn, okay, I don't think it's that. No, I'll do that. I'm taking matters in my own hands. Oh, never mind. We're on track. Just for second place, we need this. I'm gonna swap my little PP off. Actually, level where hog. Okay, hold on. Go check on my breath home. It smells heavenly. Oh my god, I'm gonna buzz. It smells so fucking good. It's in the bacon phase. It's in the bacon stage right now. And it smells damn good. Go by Park Warrior. You gotta show us the bro it's finished? Oh, dude, when I when it's been 20 minutes and it cools off, I'm bringing a diner and I'm slicing it right up. Uh, 321. How much time until it's done? 28 minutes. 345. Don't slice hot bread. Well, yeah, you're supposed to wait 20 minutes for it to cool down. That's what the thing said. Put a little honey and butter on a fresh slice, immediately exit reality into a realm of pure joy. Damn, I was gonna get some new honey today. I actually forgot. Oh no, I think I have new honey. Wait, never mind. I was gonna get something else. I have fresh honey.
Can you make biscuits in a bread maker? I just throwing me off so much. I expect them to be faster. People run this course. Is that a piston cave in front of me? Damn. Well, damn. Piston cave in front of me. 2013 Minecon gang. It's crazy. Is this person just teleporting to each section and turning around? <laughs> what the hell? No, stupid lamps. There we go. Pretty good, pretty good. Nice. Hey, three low is pretty good. I was aiming for a three thirty. That ain't a bad time. That's pretty good. Sub three. Mm -hmm. These are like the only part that I didn't do well on was the lantern bit. My CBA with. I don't know. I don't like parkour that involves on like really tiny obscure hitboxes like that, so I don't really want to try and push to complete it on first try. So it's just going to tilt me over. Yeah, you can't make that, I don't think. I was doing course for hard ending. I don't know. I'm not doing course for right now. I don't remember which one that was.
I think this is course three, right? Yeah. What's the matter with this one? I think I still have to get course four down to 330. So I'll know then. No. Yeah, that's how we can get. What the? I didn't land on the block. Uh, that might have shocked me. Thought I landed on that. Soul Sand is just straight up be outlawed from builds. Eight Soul Sand mechanics and parkouring. Unless there's ice involved. Ice makes everything more enjoyable. Soul soil, it doesn't slow you down. Oh, so we're just gonna say that I'm wrong now, right? I'm just gonna validate my feelings now. All right, man. Does it tell me about waiting on bridge? Oh, you'll see. Seventeen minutes. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate the timer immensely.
Where's the mental at today? The mental's good. The mental's good. Other videos? My first time actually in a Twitch chat. What's up, Jelly? Yo. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yes! You are not getting the better of me! Thank God. I'll take that. Solid 320. Damn! What the hell is going on with my leveling? Nice. XPVR glitch? I don't know, but if it keeps making sounds, I'm fine with it. So that's not updated yet. So that was the one I just did? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what's my time on four? E. Course for the one that's had like three different iterations of a course. Like three different iterations of a like, section, like part of it. Because they keep removing it and they keep adding in something that's impossible to do. <laughs> Biggest fan. <laughs> I appreciate you, Chief. Let's see what we got here now. What the... Huh? They basically added salmon ladders without a roof to this level? Damn, that is diabolical. What the fuck? 
Oh, there's no shot in the grave that I'm sub 330 this. What errors have I made aside from messing up on that one toward the end of it? This course is crazy long. Oh, it's this one. Wait. Oh, yeah, it's this one. Where did I mess up? I messed up once on the... The new section. Where else did I fall? Did I fall anywhere outside of that? Once in the red area? Oh yeah, I fell up the pseudo salmon ladder, but where else? Where was the, what was the red area? Oh, oh, I slipped off once when I was doing the back and forth. The, yeah, the red trapdoor area. But that was like a two second loss. Dude, that was like... Sparkles is greater than Pizza Hut. Such a weird comment. But I agree. What's up, Dead Yoshi? This dude out here give me the kind of motivation I really need in life. God damn. <laughs> Who's the blue name in chat killing their vibe? What the? Actually, no one's gotten a sub three in the course. What are you talking about? What the hell? Colin nerd Colin, holy fuck. Hostility. I just realized that I have to one-shot the pseudo salmon ladders and the finish to try and get sub 330. I'm tired. Fug. Fug. Probably a shover. Five minute bread timer? Oh shit.
don't know about this course. I don't think so. That one's gonna get the better of me, I think. That's a crazy difficult section they threw in at the end there. <laughs> I saw this person's skin from the pack. <laughs> and I thought, patient Canadian? <laughs> Major Canadian! I love your Hunger Games! <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Uh... Big phase regulates the baking time and temperature according to the individual recipe. During this phase, no movement occurs in the bread pan. Steam will emit from the steam vents as normal. Do not cover the steam vents or touch appliance surfaces. They will be hot. Uh, the keep warm phase holds the temperature of the baked bread for up to 60 minutes before automatically turning off. During this phase, no movement occurs in the bread pan. To turn off the keep warm phase or reduce the 60 minute keep warm time, refer to using the modify button. To retain a crisp loaf crust, press and hold the cancel button and remove the bread pan before the keep warm phase. The size of the loaf may concave and become soggy, or the crust may become harder and darker during the keep warm phase. When the cycle is complete, an alert will sound and the keep warm phase will automatically begin to count up 60 minutes. Okay. So do I need to, like, make sure I turn it off before the phase starts, or is there any reason I can't just take it out while it's going? Remove it before the keep warm phase. Okay. I'm gonna go deliver my child. I'll be back.
the chat. Um, there's a first time for everything. There's a... I don't know what the fuck happened. To just put it honestly. But I think I might have accidentally made cinnamon twists instead of sourdough bread. Would anyone like to diagnose? <laughs> what the fuck went wrong? <laughs> what, what went wrong? What did I do? <laughs> Is it edible? Well, I haven't tried eating it yet. What did I- what did I happen to my bread? It didn't raise or knead? I followed the recipe and the ingredients! <laughs> did you add yeast? Yes! I added everything! I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go find out if it's edible, I'll be right back. Hello. <laughs> this is my bread. <laughs> um. What did I walk into? I made a cake. <laughs> I made a cake. What the fuck happened to the kid? What happened to the bread? <laughs> the only thing... So, I don't know how severe of, like, a thing this would be. The only thing that I can think of that's obvious that might have happened... So, there... The, the bread pan comes with two, like, mixers. The, the little, um, f what's the, the flap in the, the center that you put in that, like, whisks it around? That thing, right? There's one that folds down or folds up, depending on what phase it's in. The paddle, yeah. 
One uh, there's one that folds down or up, depending on if it's in. There's one that's static. The static you use for jam. The foldable one you use for everything else. Uh, the foldable one is what I use, and it's said to keep it upright when you're adding the ingredients, and then it'll flatten down at a later phase. And obviously, of course, as soon as I added all the ingredients, I forgot whether I put it up or down. So maybe I didn't put the flat, but there's no shot that that made that. There's no way that fucked it. It's also because you didn't put it on a rigid surface. Okay, do uh, can any chefs explain what 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 this is, please? I don't know what happened. Throw the yeast away. It didn't grow the bread. Yeast was dead. This is a yeast issue. Bad yeast, potentially. Dead yeast before baking. Complicated Yorkshire pudding. Okay, come on. <laughs> yeast was bad or bad mixing? Hmm. No mix equals no gluten, that's why it's crumbly. You can check if yeast is dead. How can you check if the yeast is dead? Nice bread, thank you. I'm really putting the whole friendship bread thing to test. Uh, yeah, that's just not edible. I'm not fucking eating that. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not eating that thing. Not enough gluten formed. Bloomin' in warm, not hot water. Use some sugar and warm water equals look for bubbles. Bread worked out as well as my parents' marriage. Good. Christ, what were you, what were they into? You worked hard for that, you deserve to eat that. I'd rather have a second attempt than die. Looks like there are many problems with that, I will not lie. Okay, well I, I can only diagnose one at a time. Like, yeah, it looks, it, it, it look, there's a problem. <laughs> I'm aware of that. I can't solve the whole puzzle, I gotta go one step at a time. Uh. No, I'm not sad about the bread. I literally just want to like figure out what caused it and then just go clean it and run it up again. But I don't know if you're supposed to wait a phase after uh like after making bread to start making another loaf, but I already want to like make a second loaf. What machine did you get again? I got the Breville uh what's it called? The I, don't, I forget the name of it, but it's the Breville one. Okay, so hold on. What? What? How do? How do I do the the yeasting again? What's the process for that? Take the yeast, and put it in warm water, and see if it bubbles. So I want to say with brown sugar as well too. Active yeast will bubble. Dead yeast will not bubble. What temp was the water you use? Room temperature. Sugar water. I don't know what you mean by second loaf. You still gotta make the first loaf. God damn it. <laughs> okay, so what? I just get a cup. Put some warm water in there. Not hot, but warm water. How much sugar? Like a teaspoon of sugar? Yeast likes 100 to 100 degree Fahrenheit water. Cold is bad. The recipe called for... Hold on. Not... I'm not the book is upstairs. The recipe called for room temperature water, unless specifically stated otherwise, and it stated room temperature water. I put in the temperature of water. Water should be around 90 to 110 water. Are you talking about for this, or are you talking about for the yeast test? Which one are you talking about? Is it natural yeast or chemical yeast? Whatever one they told me to buy. Fourth of the teaspoon should be enough. About a teaspoon ish. Okay. Dry active? Warm water for this test. Okay. M, shut up! <laughs> Come on! 
My mods are not on my back. Who has my back? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna. Okay, I'm gonna go activate. I'm, I'm gonna go activate these. I'll. Here. Enjoy my child. Wait, how much yeast? Okay, 90 to 100 degree Fahrenheit water for this with a teaspoon of sugar. How much yeast? Like a teaspoon of yeast? Sprinkle of yeast? It looks like battered fish. That's just not even true! Alright, hold on. All right, welcome to my science experiment. Who's hot? Who's who's thirsty? And want a drink? Okay, so what's an indication? I'm pretty sure this is like decently warm. I put sugar in, mixed it, and then threw in a pinch of yeast. What should be happening? 
Yeast me up, big guy. I'd rather you yeast me up. I'm gonna be honest. Well, what should be occurring right about now? Let it sit. If it tastes sweet, you have diabetes. Fantastic. Takes five-ish minute. Wait for bubbles. It'll bubble in a bit if you let it sit. Okay. And if it doesn't bubble, then that's bad. Then. Dead yeast. I get new yeast. One didn't ask my dad, he agreed it's a yeast. Okay, alright. Thank you, chat. Uh, okay. <sighs> Don't pull a zine and spill it on your keyboard? Okay, so how specific are you referring to? Did zine also spill sugar water yeast on his keyboard? <laughs> Does it actually look that yellow, or is this a sepia filter? No, it's it's yellow. I mean, I, I put in brown sugar. It eats the sugar and farts out the air that raises the bread. Fantastic. Fantastic. You spilled drinks on his keyboard at least twice? Yeah, see, I've just spilled... Wait... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Look at that shit. Summons happening. Things are rising. Oh, white specks are rising up to the top. It's hatching. Okay, D can you see that? You can't really see the... Uh, I mean, maybe you can. I'm doubtful, though. You, can you see that? They're floating themselves, not dead. We see it? Yeast is good. Okay. So the yeast is good. Fantastic. That's... Okay. <laughs> okay. So... You're looking for it to foam. Well, I'll keep it sit there. I'll, I'll keep it sat there for a little bit. Next theory. I think it's the mixing that was a problem. Is there any way that uh, the f the paddle not being up could have actually done that? Because, like, I'm trying to remember, that's the only thing that I wasn't certain of, was that I wasn't sure if I put the paddle up or forgot to when I put all the stuff in. But I swear I thought I did. I love where flour didn't, seems like it didn't mix. Was your machine level? So, this goes back to the whole earthquake discussion earlier. <laughs> no, I didn't have an earthquake, but... Uh, the machine was on the, uh, lower, uh, dude, I just can't speak right now. So I got a prep table, silver prep table, uh, stainless steel prep table, right? So it has, like, the lower layer, the lower, uh, shelf at the bottom of it. That's where I put it, and I didn't realize until I turned the machine on that it's not exactly the most rigid down there. So as the machine was kind of stirring, the... You know, the uh, shelf was kind of like a little bit, right? So the machine was kind of shaken like a little bit, not a lot of bit, but it was shaken a little bit. And I don't know if that had a serious impact on it or not, but I know that yeast, from what I've read at least, is a very sensitive bitch. Maybe that'll happen on the counter also. I mean, it wasn't jumping. Let me let me just make that clear. It wasn't jumping, but it was like you know, it, the 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 shelf was flexing a fair bit, right? So it was kind of like wobbly when it was you know doing the like shaking and stirring kind of deal. The machine needs a seatbelt next time. I don't think that would impact the bread much. My bread machine sometimes walks, even on the counter. Well, matter or else it's jumping around while it's supposed to be still. While the mixing is happening, it's supposed to get disturbed. 
or it's going to get disturbed. Okay, yeah, I mean, it's perfectly still when the mixing wasn't happening. I did, I mean, I did check that, and I, it wasn't moving when it shouldn't have been. Did you rest the dough before baking it? I don't think I needed to do that. Is more supposed to be happening, by the way, to this? Should more be happening to this thing yet? Did you put liquids in first? I did it in the order that I said. It was water first, and then the salt, and then the bread dough, and then the uh, uh, vital wheat gluten, and then the yeast. Bing, bang, 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 bang. How much yeast did you put in? I think it called for a teaspoon and a half, or it was a tablespoon and a half, one of the two. Whatever it called for on the thing is what I put in. I think it was three-fourths of a teaspoon. The top of the water should be foamy. You should rise and form a bubbly layer. You should rise to the top. If not, I think it means dead yeast. Another way to check, cover the top with cling film and see if it puffs up CO2 gas. There should be a lot of bubbling. Um, if the water isn't exactly, like, the warmest anymore, right? Because it's probably reduced to room temperature by now. Is that going to be a problem? Like, should it still be foaming regardless? Even if it's a lower back to room temperature? Or did I... Is this maybe a possibility that I didn't have it hot enough? The hell are we talking about? We're currently troubleshooting. Should I use a smaller container, I think? Oh, should I get a smaller cup and not throw in 300 milliliters? <clears throat> If the water gets milky looking, it's alive. This is alive, it's okay. I mean, it definitely, like... You can see... Well, maybe you can't. Eh. It's very... I feel like if I stare into this, I'm looking at a constellation. I'm looking at the night sky. A nice little, nice little constellation. I think I can see the Milky Way in there. The Big Dipper and the Little Dipper in there, too. North Star. Also kind of looks like Jello. That looks like good yeast. It bubbled. I mean, yeah, I didn't throw in a lot. It was only like a pinch, right? I mean, I don't know. If the yeast was dead, I doubt... Would any of this be happening? I don't feel like it would, right? Like, would anything have even risen to the top? It would do nothing. Okay, so yeah, the yeast is good then. Still think it's a mixing issue for sure? Okay. So... If it's like a mixing issue, right? Could that be... So the, the paddle's a possibility. I don't know if that would be the most insane deal, but that's a possibility. So next time I do it, I'll double check to make sure the paddle's up for the initial bit when it tells you to. I could have done that, but there's a chance that I forgot, but that's fine. Was it maybe the way that I layered, like... Is it possible that it's because the yeast made contact with the water too early? Do the mixing in cam so we can see how you did. Maybe the bread machine is faulty. I'm not gonna assume that the bread machine is just immediately faulty. Don't think so, yeah. I wonder if the first attempt at bridge is salvageable as croutons. There might be some crouton bits that are possible in the middle there. But considering the outside crust of my bread looks like a five-layer cake, I don't think that's getting thrown into any recipe anytime soon. Maybe try a smaller batch so it has a better chance of mixing. Well, so I read on the thing that in terms of the integrity of the loaf, right, the, the, the loafiness of the loaf, uh, the larger settings are better because some reason. 
The smaller ones, depending on the setting that you use or the bread that you use, might not have as much rigidity in the loaf because it's a smaller amount. So that's why I went with the largest one possible because I'm like, okay, you can do this, so you should. You know what I mean? Did I activate yeast premix? I don't think I need to, though, is the thing. Like, the bread maker does all of that. Half batches in bread machines can be iffy. Larger loaf in the bread machine works better. Okay, yeah, so the, it, like, what I did was fine in that regard. <clears throat> what type of bread are we supposed to have? The edible kind. <laughs> Sourdough kind. So one, warm water, not room temp. Okay, well, the book that I have tells me the opposite on that then. Uh, butter should be at room temp. Okay, well, I didn't use butter, so we're over two here. <laughs> Add ingredients in order. Water, butter, milk, other stuff's flour, yeast. Okay, so I didn't use milk and I didn't use butter. And I did add them in order. So we're checking all three off the box there. I didn't need mix somewhere. You can see the center was open, so the paddle was spinning. Huh. I can't I cannot laugh looking at this shit. <laughs> it's so flaky. Dude, if my sourdough actually comes out to like this level of crispiness, I'm gonna be so stoked. Good god alive, holy fucking shit. <laughs> oh my god. How do you fuck up this badly? How did I mess up this badly? Maybe no milk caused the issue since less liquid than the recipe called for? The recipe didn't call for milk. It called for... What was it? A cup and two tablespoons of water? I don't remember what it called for. I don't have the book on me right now. Could you try cutting the bread to look inside? I don't know if you can see this. There is no inside. <laughs> You're looking at the most inside that there is of this. Try and make just a plain white bread next time, see if a simple recipe works. I mean, is sourdough not simple? There were five ingredients. Water, salt, dough, yeast, and gluten. That doesn't seem very complicated to me, that's why I went with that for my first go-around. Did you bloom your yeast? This also depending on the kind of yeast you use. I used, uh... Uh, what's the type of yeast? Instant? Not, it's, no. What, I used, I forget the name of the yeast. There's like three different ones. Active dry? Yeah, active dry is the one. Active dry, yeah. Did you oil the bread maker? I don't think it called for me to. I didn't. It's a non-stick. It told me... I don't think it called for me to oil the bread maker before doing a... a thing. I don't think that was necessary. I use a bread machine a lot, follow the directions in the book, and all should come out correct. Well, I have bad news for me. <laughs> I was pretty religious about the, like, I... I was making sure that the measurement of my ingredients were correct, like someone had a red dot site pointed on my chest. Are the white streaks flour? I would believe that, yes, that is flour. Yeah, that is definitely flour. As for the rest, go f I mean, it looks cool. Like, that. You, you could basically take this design and make a bowling ball out of it, and people would buy that shit. I'd buy that shit. This thing looks fucking cool. So at least I got that going for me. 
If you touch it, is it flaky? Yeah, this shit did not cook. <laughs> that did not get baked. Which would probably explain why it seems to be kicked up a ton in the corner of where the bread maker was. See if the yeast has any directions to prepare it. Take a bite. Like, okay. You see this part right here? Like, this... That part right there, if I bite that, do I die? What even is this? Uh... <laughs> oh my god. Not at all. I mean, it's like, I'm eating raw food, <laughs> am I not? It's raw, it, I'm not, I don't want to do this. I say it's like flour, you'll be alright. Can I even eat this? Wait, hold on a second, that don't taste too bad. <laughs> That don't taste too bad. Actually, I'm not capping. Hey, look at that. Do you see right in there? That's sourdough. It's gummy. It's got a crunch to it, like the entire way through. Oh yeah, I ate that shit. Yeah, that was good. Actually, what? Yeah, you can break this off and make croutons out of that for sure. Oh yeah, yeah, that's my, uh, that's my bread. <laughs> Can we have some? I mean, yeah, there you go. Here, don't get the part that I bit. There you go. Looks like a fucking chicken nugget. <laughs> it looks like a chicken wing. Oh my god. Oh. Uh. Actually, the aftertaste ain't sitting good. All right, that don't taste. Okay, yeah. All right, ne never mind. Never mind. It's yeah. Never mind. It was good for a little bit, and then reality set in. <laughs> it uh, it ain't it, it ain't too good to me anymore. Check the mixer engine. Ugh. All right, hold on. All right, can we see a science experiment again? That looks more dead than when it started. Looks like there are air pockets, so the yeast did work. I mean, it looks like... You know, sourdough does when you bite into it, and it's not just extremely dense. There's a lot of caverns, you know? I'm assuming the yeast does that. Because you have active dry yeast, you need to proof it before use. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Ha. We're gonna do some motherfucking reading as a class here. Alright, first of all, that's the that's the yeast that we got. This is what we've been using. Active dry yeast, Bob's Red Mill, premium quality. Great for bed baking. Fantastic. Alright. I don't want to read. I'll read to you. You don't have to worry about it. Where is the section? There is a section on yeast. There's a whole ass thing that told me a lot of things that I vaguely remember now. Where are you? I think it was... Before, where's the start of this thing? It's somewhere here. Hold on, there you are. The custom loaf, you son of a bitch. 
Uh, you should rise for a few hours. All right, hold on one sec. Uh, let's do a little science experiment. You try left clicking. Shut up. Got the whole squad laughing. You're supposed to use instant yeast for bread makers, also sold as bread machine yeast or rabbit rice yeast. Sourdough bread. Starter. Non applicable. Water, 80 degree Fahrenheit. Three fourths cup plus one tablespoon. Salt, two and a half teaspoons. Bread flour, three cups plus two tablespoons. Vital wheat gluten, one and a half tablespoons. Yeast, active dry, three fourths tablespoons. Or teaspoons. About what it told me. About what it told me to do. Is this the section on the yeast? Where's the section on the yeast? Just three different kinds, and it informed me about those, and it was very cool to read about. That's not where that is. That's not. That's not where. Are you where it is? That's not where you are. Guide to bread making. Big pug. Oh, here it is. Okay. There are three main types of domestic yeast available. Cake yeast, also known as fresh yeast or wet yeast, active dry yeast, and instant yeast, also known as quick rise yeast, rapid rise yeast, fast rising yeast, fast acting yeast, or bread machine yeast. Cake yeast is not recommended for use with the bread maker. We recommend using active dry yeast, which is what I bought, added directly into the flour, no dissolving necessary, if the liquid ingredients are 80 degree Fahrenheit unless stated otherwise. For the shorter, basic rapid and whole wheat rapid settings, use only instant yeast or the bread will not rise properly during the shortened rise phase. We also recommend adding vital wheat gluten when the, using these settings for recommended quantities, blah, 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 blah. So, I did both of that. It's 80 degrees Fahrenheit, so room temperature. Like, just slightly above room temperature. Um... Maybe the water was too cold. Like, theoretically, would, like, 15 degrees Fahrenheit make a difference? Yes. Especially on the coal side, it would slow down the reaction. Maybe I did have the water too cold. Because I took it straight from a tap, but maybe... Maybe the tap isn't... Hmm, maybe the water did need to be a little bit warmer. That would make sense then. The heat and the moisture are what wake the yeast up. Right, that's why it says don't use hot water because that'll kill the yeast, right? Like it doesn't have time for it to do its process or whatever. When you take it from a tap, it should feel at minimum skin temp and not cold to the touch. I always heat water to lukewarm when using active dry yeast. What's like the... What's like the most surefire way to get water to 80 degree Fahrenheit specifically? We all think. I mean, obviously I, like, I could throw in a thermometer into the water. Just run a thermometer under the tap. Did you add anything in place to the starter? No, I just left it empty. Hmm. Thermometer and microwave? Yeah. It might have been the water temperature then. That makes sense. For those that use bread makers, so I know that the, the order that you put in the ingredients into the pan makes uh, everything. That's incredibly vital. But in terms of, like, spreading it out, you don't really have to, right? Like, as long as, like, the yeast isn't touching the water and they're separated all, 
they don't have you don't have to like flatten them or anything like so long as they're just piled on each other in the way that's necessary like that's good to go right because it's all going to get mixed anyway leave it on the counter for a while it should feel slightly cold to skin your body's 80 98 degree fahrenheit right Even if it was cold water, it still wasn't mixed, which shouldn't be a water issue. Wasn't well, water directly relating to the yeast properties? And the yeast is the reason why it didn't rise? Well, hmm. We're not talking about it rising, we're talking about it mixing. Don't put salt in next to the yeast either. Oh yeah, the salt was underneath the... The salt was under the, uh, what's it called? Flour. You can look up substitutes for sourdough starter like Greek yogurt. Starters have cultures that help the bread rise too. Greek yogurt is a substitute, really? Interesting. Hmm. It's got to mix correctly for the yeast to work regardless. As long as the ingredients are in order, each layer being completely flat shouldn't matter. Okay, that's good then. Huh. So what do we fall back on being the problem? Water temperature is the thing that I should monitor a little bit more closely then. But would that impact the mixing? The mixing's the problem. But would water temperature directly correlate to mixing? Or is that the next step when we get to the yeast, after the mixing's already dealt with? It's like the need cycle wasn't long enough. I think it's the lack of starter to add moisture. Water time and possibility of the paddle not being done. Hmm. Save sign said both is the issue. Hmm. If the dough is too dry, then you could also have a mis mixing issue. Making sure the dough isn't in the mixing paddles when baking might be all it is. It will mix, then let it rise, and the machine will knead it. If the bread doesn't rise and gluten activate the kneading by network. I'm just going to say do it again and make sure you set it up right with warmer water. Your flour could just be really dry. What dictates flour being dry or not? How how would you how how are we how can we diagnose the flour? It didn't mix well from the beginning if the flour is layered like that. My sister's bread maker needs the mixing paddles removed before baking. Hmm, I don't think that that's necessary for this one because this one has like it'll fall down. Right, like it'll go up or fall down depending on what it is, and I think it falls down during the baking phase. So the paddles are out of the way when it's not needed anymore. Did it call for you to need it yourself, or did the bread machine do that? The bread machine does that. Culinary rise up. No, I appreciate the help immensely, chat. When I make a successful sourdough bread, not if, when, it's, it's gonna be on y'all. Y'all been a big help in this, and I appreciate that immensely. Hmm. Can you send me a piece? I mean, I need to see whether I wake up in the morning or not. That one bite could do me in, let's be honest. When you put ingredients in and let it mix, there are a possibility to look how it's mixed before continuing the process. Um, there's certain phases where you can open the lid to, like, see if it's formed correctly. Like, I think after the kneading phase, I'm pretty sure I could check to make sure it actually forms a ball and, like, it's mixed properly. I don't know, it was weird. I, uh... 
I thought like when I checked with an hour left that I looked in the middle and I thought I saw like the top of a loaf. So I was like, oh, cool, it's good. But I only saw it like, for, I, I looked for like a very brief moment. I might have missed seen it. Clearly I did, because I don't think it would have just gotten destroyed later because the fucking flower wasn't even mixed in. So the problem happened early on, not later. Flower can be drier or wetter based on humidity and seasons. You can only really adjust for it by looking at it when mixing. Gotcha, okay. Or streamer can grind AACs for 12 hours. Or streamer can make bread. Well, hmm. Sourdough is one of the more challenging breads to make, especially without a starter. Probably worth trying something simpler first to get a technique done. How much of the starter... Let me see here. How much of the starter was called for in this recipe? Um, One and a fourth cup of starter. Starter is a natural or commercial use to reinforce sourdough, sponge, or piece of old dough that is added to a dough for leavening power. Shortening the baking process and enhancing the flavor of the bread. There are many sourdough recipes that do not use starters, however, we include this 8 day starter for more advanced bakers and looking for a fuller sourdough flavor. Okay. Ensure the collapsible paddle is securely attached and in the upright position before adding the starter. Then the rest of the ingredients to the bread pan and the order listed. Secure the bread pan inside the baking chamber. Select the crusty loaf setting and loaf size. Press the start pause button. When the cycle is complete, use oven mitts to remove the bread from the bread machine and transfer to a wire rack to cool. Bread slices best when allowed to cool. Okay, I did all that. <sighs> okay. You put the ingredients in to make sure the paddle is attached properly, plus using appropriate temp water, you should be good. Regardless, regarding the dryness of flour, I'm skeptical of the recipe because it tells you a set amount of water. Yeah, it does. Three-fourths cup plus a tablespoon. So recap, warmer water, possibly more water needed for drier flour. Make sure paddle is correct. Round two? Damn, I wish I could literally just take you guys up and just do a kitchen stream. Fuck, if I actually like baking stuff, then that would actually be entertaining. Damn. 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 It takes three hours and 40 minutes. Uh, I gotta go clean it. Uh, okay, it's not actually that dirty. Uh, Midnight bread sound delicious. It really does. I'm gonna be honest with you. It really freaking does. Yeah, aside from the aftertaste, that bread did taste kind of good. <laughs> oh, more a crouton than bread, but the crouton tasted pretty good. I got lucky when I first made bread. My girlfriend at that time had made a lot of it, and I made it with her, so I had an experience hand to help guide. Damn, weird flex. <laughs> weird flex. But well, fair enough, good on you. But for a bit, did something go wrong with the bread? Well, um, you can't go wrong with what you don't have. Does the book tell you not to open the machine to check the dough at all? Maybe open it and check the dough. Um, Okay, hold on. Where is the section? That's a different language. Ah, right, let's see. So. Yeah, way too damn quiet. It's good.
Wait, hold on. Okay, so if... If it didn't even mix properly, then phase-wise, that's an error in the kneading phase, right? Because, like, after the knead, there's rise, punch down, rise, punch down, rise, and bake. But the error didn't happen during any of that. It happened during the beginning. It's kneading. It's not proofing at the moment. Okay, so it does say at the rise 2 phase, or at the start of the rise 3 phase, to remove the paddle, but that's optional. You don't need to. It just tells you how to do it. It does say it is important to remove the dough when the alert sounds and to replace the dough in the center of the pan to ensure the dough rises completely and is not lopsided. Removing the paddle is not recommended in the gluten-free and yeast-free settings. The dough is more like batter. I think I missed that. That shouldn't... That shouldn't cause an issue, I don't think. If the dough is unevenly sitting to one side of the bread pan, it should be centered over the paddle before the rise three phase to avoid a lopsided loaf. Especially important for a smaller loaf sizes. Okay, mine was the max size. Well... No, that's, that's not a concern to me right now because it didn't even mix. So like, it's not going to be lopsided when it's literally the biggest option that they have in there. Ever made bread by hands? Nope. This is my first time making bread in general. Seems like it happens like the first mix. Hi, right, man. Chat. I'm a stubborn bitch, and I think I've been challenged. This son of a bitch is trying to best me. He's trying to one-up me. You can need my bread? What do you mean by that? I'm off. I gotta go clean my shit. I'm gonna... We're gonna go again. We're gonna go again. And I'm gonna update in the fitness hall on my Discord. And if I don't, it's because I went to bed and didn't do it. And we'll do it in the morning. But I'm probably going to do it tonight, because I'm still awake. And I got shit to do. AKA making bread. Plan to come back with a VH stream? I guess I will literally have three hours of not doing anything. So maybe I might go do that and then stream. Fuck, I wish I could take my phone upstairs. Uh, bring it down to us. I was going to say, I don't think there's anything actually stopping me from plugging in my bread maker down here. But yeah, I think short circuiting my uh, <laughs> uh, electrical panel would probably be the thing that would stop that. So I'm not going to do that. <laughs> don't think I'm going to do Don't think I'm going to make basement bread. I need to get, like, a, uh, camera and just mount it to the top of my, uh, like, my ceiling, just ceiling mount it. So that way, like, over here, you can just see, like, a view of my kitchen, like, the prep table where the bread maker is. I mean, all I really gotta do for, like, the closest, or, like, the shortest distance possible is just, like, poke a hole in my roof. Just shove the webcam through there and just ride to the kitchen.
Okay. All right. Thanks for <coughs> the streams. Hope you enjoy that good bread PZHH. And girl, they're much of the 25. I almost won ever much of the nine. Appreciate you. Send get ever much of the year. Send the well ever much of the forty five months. Appreciate you. Greg get ever much of the hundred bits. Thank you for that one. Doctor Moose ever much of the get the sub. Send it ever much of the get the sub. Send ever much of the eight months. Hope the same for you. Jordan saved ever much of the fifteen months. You and forty. Thank you again for the six. Appreciate you all. All right. Yeah, I'll update shit. I might go back live. I'll see how I'm feeling. I need to get some food. Uh, yeah. Okay. Thanks for the, the help. I genuinely appreciate it, and we'll probably be re-referencing this part of the stream over again if anything continues going wrong. I'm not saying sourdough was the greatest thing to make to start, but it's literally just fucking adding ingredients, so I don't know how hard it could be. I'd... The capability is in the bread maker. I'm not doing shit. I'm adding ingredients and pressing a button. That should make sourdough, uh, so I'm... I'll be back. Possibly. Alright. Later, y'all. Have a great night. Appreciate y'all. Take care. Goodbye. Good luck on your own hunt for carbs. Once you're doing keto. Dude, I just realized that there was flour on my oven mitt, and I put my oven mitt on my 